Today on Mo's Toy Room, we're going to unbox NECA and Real Toys Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Moe's Toy Room and today we are going to unbox from NECA and Real Toys Godzilla SOS and hey we are very lucky and fortunate to capture this one um, to bring to you today but also we want you to be on the lookout for our other unboxings coming real soon of Godzilla King of Monsters Mothra the colored version which is very hard to find you've seen that we already did the regular version that was all blue and also we are coming with Jason Voorhees as Friday the 13th part 5 the Roy Jones Roy Burns version <laughs> I'm thinking Roy Jones thinking of the fight he's gonna have with Mike Tyson right or it's on everybody's mind but anyway the Friday the 13th part 5 version Roy Burns the imposter Jason which brings a lot of stuff so this is gonna be real fun to do also and also ladies and gentlemen we got this guy right here is Godzilla vs. Biollante coming to you very soon. So subscribe right now. And hey, so that way you can get that update. Hit that update, that notification. And you will know just exactly when we unbox this bad boy right here also. All right, folks. But today is all about this guy. Godzilla SOS Bushirai Suicide. Got that one in there. All right. So anyway, it's about that guy right there. And it's time, folks. So let's get up close to check out this font. The artwork on these boxes are second to none. As for whatever reason, NECA had issues not to no longer do Godzilla products. I don't know what the issue was. I wish that they would continue doing Godzilla products or get that um, license back uh, in the future because these figures are awesome. I love unboxing them. I have the utmost fun looking for them in the stores. They are just fun all the way around. They take you back to your childhood. Godzilla has been around forever. It goes generations after generations after generations. Um, especially in Japan where uh, Godzilla has originated. It's just a fun product all the way around. And NECA, please go after the license. Bring us back. Give us more of these guys. But ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to unbox this guy. Godzilla Tokyo SOS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox him from the bottom because I want to hurry up and get his tail in this water next to me. If you're wondering what that is, I put some hot water to last a little bit because you have to drop his tail in there um, to soak a little bit to get it on. Because there's a big old like um, ball joint on the end. As you could tell, I unboxed it from the very bottom. Box is nice and still pretty minty for a later date in case you want to reuse it. And here we have Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Get up close to that sun. Man, I love these figures. They are so awesome. Here we have that. We have that beautiful scenery right there of Tokyo from back in the day. Looks like early 70s, maybe late 60s. You know, so it's it's there. Maybe 80s. I don't know. But whenever this, this is how it looks, folks. Okay. And also it brings... The instruction sheet right there, which shows two, you have to put that tail in some hot water for a while or a lukewarm water, whatever you feel. I chose hot. So right now I want to get this tail out first. I want to drop that in and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. Wow, this is a really long tail right here. And this figure is really heavy. We purchased this figure today. We went to Target and scored all of this, believe it or not. The um, the Jason Voorhees, there's a tail. You see how it has that hole in the end right there? That has to be able to, to fit on this ball joint that you're going to see. Um, I got coming 
And when I unbox this, take this guy out of this plastic. All right. But anyway, we we're at Target and we scored this guy, uh, the Godzilla Tokyo SOS. We also scored the um, Godzilla vs. Biollante and the Mothra. All today, it was like a really good run of Target. And folks, these guys were $23.99. Uh, U.S. dollars. I well, was it twenty-three? No, Mothra was twenty-three, and these guys were twenty-four ninety-nine. That's correct. Man, I can't get freaking. See, this is what I'm talking about. I got really bad hands, so I'm gonna have to tear this guy out of here. Neca, this is what I'm telling you guys. It, you guys put way too much of this on here. For somebody with some really bad hands like myself. You can see, look at that. Big old knot right there. That's my only complaint ever for a NECA product. That's the only complaint that I ever have. And there's that big ball joint. Get in there close. You can see that right there. It's kind of like a dumbbell uh, ball joint. That tail has to fit onto this. And this guy is loaded with articulation. I mean loaded. But let's get to this review. All right, take a look at Godzilla right here. We are going to go, God, this is a phenomenal looking figure. This figure is just beautiful. Oh, my goodness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we're going to move here to the head. Does he, oh, his head came right off the little <laughs> joint right there. Oh, that's a first. Do I have to soak? No, it popped right on. All right, we're going to put it to the side. Michael Myers, there it is. Looking at his beautiful work when he stab somebody up on the wall we're gonna see if his head goes up and down it goes down pretty good goes up really good does he spin around and hit that exorcism whoosh <laughs> yes he does he also he should have a mouth that opens and closes let's see if he has one does he have one I'm not sure I can't get his mouth open. I don't think so. Oh, there it is. Let's see here. Oh, this guy, he's, he's chewing down on something. Let's see here. Oh, his head came off again. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh, this thing, this, this, ball, this ball joint right here, it's just not... And it clips right on, but it's just... All right, we're going to leave it like that. All right, so his mouth does open and close. Get up close to that, son. So, in Moe's toy room, you know what time it is every time we have a heavy metal Godzilla up in the house. It's time for heavy metal Godzilla. All right. Ow, dude. Why are you biting me for? Come on, man. All right. So we're going to scroll down to his neck. He does not have any movement right there, but he does move around the shoulder area right here. You got a nice joint right there that has a really nice swivel. He has some real nice dorsal plates on the back. They're not real hard. These are the more softer um, rubber plastic, uh, soft vinyl ones. But hey, they work for this guy. Look at that, those dorsal plates. All right, so now with his arm movement, we are going to start with the right arm right here. It does move all the way around as usual. He does have a swivel right here in the elbow also that's about how far he's going to go on that elbow right there we're going to go down to his hand he has that does he have a ball joint in the hand um yeah he does he does have it look at that folks ooh, ooh, ooh. all right and then he has that hand that opens and closes which i absolutely love it works on godzilla figures but I know that on a lot of action figures, such as the brand new Fortnite ones that they're putting out, um, the um, open and close hands makes it to where they can't really hold their weapons too well. So, but 
on the actual Godzilla figures. This is awesome. Works perfectly. So that way you can open his hand and you're like, Hey! Kong! Hey! Kong! When are we going to do this, punk? Huh? When are we going to do this? You want some? Come get some! That's right. And bring your mama too. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're going to scroll on down to <laughs> do the left arm over here. Does exactly the same thing. Very nice. I want to put that they put like a soft, like rubber material, like a, a I can't even describe what this is, like a soft vinyl. Uh, it looks like he has like a layer of, I don't know what this is right here around this area maybe some sharp like um like bone material to coming out of there but it's not very sharp like in real life but i'm assuming that he uses this to his advantage when he fights okay so he also has that by that elbow swivel right there you can see that works really well and his arm has a pretty good bend in it and the same thing with the hand up and down look at that look at that hinge it got like a hinge like ball joint in there you can see it right there real good but NECA's still doing a really good job and then also his hand opens and closes okay really nice folks so we're going to scroll right down right here right below this real tall dorsal plate right here and he does have beautiful swivel right there really nice on that big old ball joint i'm assuming this in there uh and then we're going to scroll more down right here we're going to go to his legs very stiff well-made figure this guy will stomp on you like there's no tomorrow goes all the way around very easily okay and then he also bends at the knee ah let me see here Let's see if I can get him. Yeah, there it went. That's about that far. He's going to bend. Really stiff. Okay. As you could tell, he has those hinge right behind there on the knees. Getting close to that. And then also on the foot area, he got some big old ham hock foots right here. Like this dude steps on you. It's over. Okay, really good up and down movement for this beautiful uh, reptilian of sort, reptile, oversized monster. Really nice. These big old just fingernails that you're going to need like uh, a grinder. Just if you want to give this guy a pedicure, it's like, not enough. Oh, get out the huge grinder. Get out the wall. <laughs> All right. Anyway very nice movement he has that nice rocker on it let's check out the other leg same thing same exact thing okay he has that hinge in the back so i'm assuming that he's going to bend at the knee i'm not going to go through it because this monster is very stiff and we just got this one and i want him to stay in pretty good shape oh there he went look at that very nice all right okay and also he has that rocker really nice on the leg up and down movement okay this guy is really stiff okay folks so now it's time to go through his tail as you can tell right there he has a swivel right there right below these semi larger dorsal plates and then when you go even more does he have more there no but you got to go right there look at that folks Look at that, more articulation up. Look at that. Yeah, there's some ball joints up in here. And then more right there for he could lay it the smack down on you. All right. And now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to see if we could pop this guy on right here. Should go right on. See if I could clean this up. Get up on there. I didn't hear a pop, but I'm assuming that it's on. 
Okay, it feels pretty good. Got this fan on because it's scorching hot weather up here. Beautiful. Look at the size of that tail. Jeez. All right, so we got the swivel right there that I just put on. He also has more swivel on the tail here. More swivel on the tail here. More swivel on the tail here. More swivel again. And guess what else, folks? More swivel. And then that's it. See, he uses this part right here. You know how people have a pimp pan? He drops that pimp tail like, pow, pow. Get over here, King Kong. Give me your money. Yeah, pow. Oh, I can't wait for these two to fight on screen. Is it just me or is, or is it like the whole world is waiting for them to fight? Okay. With the way the cinematography is and the way that special effects are, that is going to be one bad ass movie. All right. I said it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do right here is we're going to check these guys, check him out, how he would look with a red screen behind him. Very nice. Turn him to the side a little bit. Make him look you down like, what you looking at, boy? Don't you know I'm local? All right. And then we're going to hit him up with the green screen. Very nice. Let's turn him around. See how he looks. Wow. This guy is huge. This is a really good investment right here. Right now, I'm really loving this Godzilla. We have one that's leading the race of some of my reviews. This guy is awesome. All right. And for all of you that want to imagine... If he's coming out of some water, let me see if I got that blue screen. Do I have one of those? Yes, it's on the very bottom over here. Had to be. Okay. How does he look if he's coming out of water? Very nice. Loving it. So for all of you that enjoyed this view of Puchirai Sui Sit Godzilla Tokyo SOS, please do so and subscribe now for that way you don't miss any more of my future videos that I'm about to put out. They're coming back to back, folks. So you guys seen that. Um, hey, I want to move up the food chain, okay? And also, you can follow us on Instagram at Most Toys. That's M-O-E-S-T-O-Y-S. And you can also find us on no, I'm not going there. Leave me a man. I'm here. Hold on a minute. I, I, just stay on this guy. I got to straighten somebody out. Okay. This dude really needs some straightening. Okay. Cause he, he just wants to be involved in everything. All right. Freddie. Okay. This is something completely different than what I did with you. Why are you looking at me like that? Dude, put your hand down. I'm trying to say where people can find us. Okay. Tell me, tell me the other one. All right. No, I'm not saying that, Freddy. This is about Godzilla Tokyo SOS and where they could find us. Nobody wants to go to Elm Street right now. Okay. Okay, real quick. Freddy on TikTok. Really? You had to slip that in, dude? Uh, oh. oh my god all right he said it you can also find godzilla tokyo sos on tiktok at most toy room that's most toy room on tiktok and also don't hit, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out a lot of videos that we have on our library folks good night everyone